be really interested to see how both teams line up straight out of the gate here. Brad Jensen is our official. He's the man in the middle here tonight, and the visitors get us started. As Birmingham Wild, they were creating a lot of a lot of chances in inverted commas. Didn't necessarily test the New Mexico United keeper too much. Flag stays down for Bailey. Zico Bailey rips the first shot on goal here in the fourth minute. And this is our first Bank of America corner kick of the evening. As Portillo gets ready to put this one in here for New Mexico, it's the outswinger. Played out to the top of the box, Hernandez. He's unable to get that on frame. It's good to see that list get a little smaller though because there was a point where there was barely enough room for New Mexico United players on that list. So, And an early goal for Indy. And they were saying just moments ago they needed to contain Sebastian Guinzotti. And who else? As Guinzotti, the captain, scores his 10th of the season. Tough where they really struggled to deal with the first ball. See it's it. Just kind of gets in between two players there. Not sure if Kalen Ryden doesn't necessarily step. He's, he's zonal marking there, and he just finds that little crease, and he just improvises. He's falling backwards towards the goal, and he just improvises, just flicks a toe at it. Instinctive finish there. Here's Hernandez, lays it off for Suggs. And speaking of uh, back from international duty, Schneider Borgelin back for New Mexico as well. Hernandez to Moreno, off the crossbar. Or off the post, excuse me, in New Mexico, Chris, looking for a quick answer. Solomon Asante connects with Guinzotti, and Guinzotti goes down, and that's going to be a penalty. Indy looking to go up 2-0 here early in this first half. Sebastian Guinzotti looking to put Indy up 2-0. Oh, and what a save from Andrew Thomas. I, I think justice was done there purely because of the incident that happened leading up to when New Mexico United couldn't clear their lines because of the quick throw in when Kalen Ryden was down injured. Didn't stop the play for Kalen Ryden. So you can completely understand the frustration from the players. He's absolutely, it's, it's, uh, he's got to get a grip on this, unfortunately, the man in the middle. Delivery goes into the box, and this one right into the waiting arms of Andrew Thomas. Down he does, actually. My apologies there. And Moreno fouled, and we're going to see a card coming out for that one. Surprised the yellow card's coming out there. He knew exactly, exactly what he was doing. Under Moreno, while there was still a long way to go, he was off to the races there in, in the 11 had. So falls to Moreno. Great touch from Moreno. Still Moreno, and that one eventually poked away by Dispe. Now Hamilton. Hamilton finds it. Velasquez, but the follow-up, it's saved by Trill. They're just waiting for, waiting for their moment to step, and there it is there just to pick off that pass, and then they'll try and play forwards as quickly as they can. Orgelin finds Hernandez. Hernandez, Rivas, and we're even here at the lab in the 44th minute. It's Sergio Rivas. Seventh goal of the season for number seven. And New Mexico evens it up here with Indy. That's how they drew it up. What a ball that was by Nicky Hernandez. The weight on it. And you can see the keeper's disappointed. He's disappointed there. He feels like he should have done better. I think it goes through his legs. Through the wickets there. Just doesn't quite get his feet set. But Ishak Jerome able to deal with that. And that is the... First half whistle here at the lab, and what an entertaining first half that was. We saw a little bit of it all. We saw an opener. From... Here's Borgelin. He's through, and Borgelin. And it... Under hit right to Kalen Ryden. Here comes Moreno. Moreno was looking for Bailey. It falls to Borgelin. You can tell she's getting a little frustrated there as the big man. I don't links up with Rivas, finds Bailey, and Hernandez has acres of space. Here's Nikki Hernandez. 
Cuts inside. Hernandez sneaks it in the back post. New Mexico takes the lead. It's the third goal of the season for Nicky Hernandez. And he's going to hit the dance, Chris. Hernandez uh, here on this TLC replay. Perfectly taken. Third of the season for the midseason addition. Nicky Hernandez. is Blake, unleashes one. And throughout what you see it, through so much what the, the club does, even the, as far as you know, just being here in stadium, obviously the, the fans that are watching on TV aren't have any idea, but this is one of the only places that does Moreno blast this one just wide. I'm sure they, they hope that that energy kind of makes up for what they lost with Moreno going off the field. This one deflects, Hurst, can he get on the end of it? Trill comes through, and the official points at the penalty spot. A yellow card shown to Tim Trill. What controversial PK in a game that there's going to be a makeup, and you can see that Chris gets to the ball first, and Trill. Portillo slots it home, and the Iceman has found the back of the net. For the third time this season, it's the third goal for New Mexico tonight. And that is massive. That's the insurance goal that everyone in the crowd here at the lab was hoping for because it was getting a little nervy. And they call him the Iceman and you see exactly why. As cool as the other side of the pillow as he slots this one home. And that should be the nail in the coffin for Mark Lowry's men here tonight. I tell you what, go all the way back to that Thomas save. From the PK in the first half, what is Shaq Zero? Rebeon. Sante plays this one in, bouncing around, and they pulled one back. Indy have scored a second here with still one minute left in second half stoppage time. Mexico will be in absolutely no hurry here. And that is the full-time whistle here at the lab. New Mexico victorious over Indy 11 as they improve to 2-0-0.